Algerian and Tunisian freethinkers under threat for, quote, ridicule, ridiculing Quran. A series of verses mimicking the style of the Quran, titled Surah Corona, have lit Arab social media on fire. The verses were written by Algerian atheist Gilou and has resulted in many death threats and calls for arrest. Ana al Shariki, um, I butchered that, I'm sorry. A Tunisian girl who shared the verses of Surah Corona is under investigation and has a, had a warrant issued for her arrest by uh, Tunisian public prosecution. And wow. by the time um, there was an update today that said that Anma stated on social media that she has been released from police custody following the intervention of Professor Agnes Trabalisi. Trabelsi. Hmm. Can we get in touch with her and interview her on Atheist Republic? Yeah, I'll do some investigating. That would be awesome. By the way, so for people don't like a lot of people are who are anti-Islam like us in the live chat, they think it's like in the Islamic world it's so binary, right? They think like everywhere in the in the Arab or in the Islamic world it's just like Saudi Arabia. Like you're like, oh, you speak against the Quran, you're dead tomorrow. It's not, it's not like that, okay? So there are some countries that have it worse than others, right? So if you're in Saudi Arabia, like me, something like this would be like, a, you know, almost guaranteed, so, you know, death uh, or maybe prison for a very long time and torture. The same thing with Iran in a country like Pakistan or Bangladesh. Um, it's more the mob that you have to be worried about than the government, right? So in Saudi Arabia and Iran, it's mostly the government that you have to worry about. In Bangladesh and Pakistan, it's mostly the people, the mob that you have to be worried about. In countries like Tunisia, it's not as bad as any of those other four that we just mentioned, right? Um, Algeria also as well. But Tunisia uh, also is a lot less of a threat to you than you know countries like iran or saudi arabia but the threat is there right so just because we're saying like it's less like you can see that tunisia is one of the best most liberal most secular mm -hmm. islamic countries that you could think of right and the best is this like you get death threats you get investigated by the government you get ar arrested for a while and let go so again this is really bad and this is the best you could expect right now in an Islamic country, right? So again, it's not the same level, but it's still really bad. Susanna, it seems like you want to say something. Um, do you want me to read the Surah Corona? Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. Um, I oh, this was originally in Arabic, and you know, I think this would make a much better recitation in Arabic, but I'll just have to do a dramatic reading in English. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Surah you Corona. gotta go like this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why do they do the thing where they touch their face? Um, you don't so, want the blessings to leak out, okay? Yeah. You're, have, you're getting so much blessings, you just have to like cover your. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, I really believed you. <laughs> <laughs> it's leaking out like, of your. <laughs> like that could be. I mean, no. it is magical thinking, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> Surah Corona, COVID by the eradicating virus. But they were surprised that it came to them from China far away. So the infidels, Kafarun, said it was a stubborn disease. No, rather, it is certain death. There is no difference today between the kings and the slaves. So hold on to science and abandon traditions, but don't go out and buy wheat. And stay home, for it is a strong scourge and wash your hands with new soap. Almighty Jilu has provided this truth. Wow, that was perfect. That was so <laughs> more useful than the entire Quran. Which is not saying much, but the, yeah. Like, if, you know how the Muslims always challenge you to bring something better than the Quran? This was way better than the Quran. This Isn't is it? what, yeah, the Quran challenge was what inspired this. Oh, really? The Quran challenge was... Okay, so people who don't know what the Quran challenge is, before TikTok and all the challenges, that, like YouTube challenges and everything you did, <laughs> the most popular <laughs> challenge in the world was the Quran challenge because in the Quran itself, it challenges you to bring you a verse better than the Quran. And, you know, this this is an obvious win. Uh, sec uh, so, by the way, Secular Atheism Foundation is Chris. It's our own Chris. I didn't know mm -hmm. that. So he just gave us a super chat. Yay! 
Uh, and the super chat says the Islamophobia comment was a joke. I am the artist formerly known as RPG Game Guy. I don't know what you're referring to, but thank you for the super chat. Oh, Rivka, he was talking doing? about earlier when it was like racism, Islamophobia. I'm triggered. We, we yeah. knew you were joking, Chris. Uh, yeah, we know you know. So I wanted to make a point about the um, Quran challenge. So, like, um, in the 10th century. Muhammad Zakaria al-Razi said he mocked this idea, saying, Indeed, we shall produce a thousand similar from the works of rhetoricians, eloquent speakers, and valiant poets, which are more appropriately phrased and state the issues more succinctly. They convey the meaning better, mm -hmm. and their rhymed prose is in better meter. You are right. talking about a work which recounts ancient myths and which at the same time is full of contradictions and does not contain any useful information or explanation. And then you say, produce something like it? Mm -hmm. So even in the 10th century, people were saying, you know, yeah. BS. And I think that that's really important to bring up because so many people think that particularly in the Islamic world, that it's always been like that. They're always been religious. No one's ever questioned anything. And it's not true. Right. Razi is very famous. Wasn't he the one who discovered alcohol? Yeah. No. Like the yeah. So, but, but he's, a, he's sure. a Persian. He's a Persian slash Muslim. They, co they consider him Muslim. This is what, when people say, like, um, the golden age of Islam, they count these. This guy was like a scientist that is like gets right. a lot of credit. They count this guy. This guy that says like, basically, he just said, "Fuck the Quran. Our work is much better than the Quran, and this is the easiest challenge to meet." And the Muslims were like, "Oh, look at our scientists. Mm -hmm. Look at how much we contributed to science." Really, this guy? You're counting this guy as your scientist? The guy that said like, "Fuck the Quran." At the right. He century? just said it's full of myths and contradictions <laughs> and contains doesn't contain any useful information. So right. Muhammad Zakaria Al Razi, yeah. Yeah, Muhammad Zakaria Al Razi. And he is um, like imagine saying that in the heart of the Islamic world back in the 10th century, right? <laughs> so that's that's pretty impressive, right? News. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel, hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why, what has what's holding you back. Okay, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like, bell, <laughs> and also, if, you, if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that they want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah, you, we think it's no. And oh, look, oh, they also hit the bell button, but nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people are like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, nah, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link, there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah, subscribe to our newsletter as well and share, share our videos because you know, we do get demonetized. That's an obvious on every one of our videos. So F that, but we don't care about that anymore, <laughs> but we also get deprioritized and that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritized. What does that mean? That means we're not, we don't show up on the suggested, you know, videos on the right and all that, you know, on the, on people's homepages. And that's how channels grow. Unfortunately we can't grow. So we need you guys to share our videos. 